What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Got some products to review for you. These are from Greenworks, this is their combo kit. This is their dip drill driver and their impact. Just recently reviewed their circular saw. If you guys are interested in that, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. Go ahead and check out that review. All right, so let's take a closer look at this drill driver and impact combo kit that we got here. You guys can see it comes with a nice little carry bag here. Not thin and cheap. Actually feels decently well made. I don't see this tearing on you anytime soon. Also on the kit you're gonna get two 24 volt, two amp hour batteries with the battery indicator on the top here. So that's on both of these, which is nice. These are both fully charged batteries, already charging them. You're gonna go ahead and get your battery charger, you just get one. You also get a Greenworks driving set that they throw in. It's an eight piece set. That's everything inside the set. And then you got your impact driver and your drill and your drill driver. So let's take a closer look at the drill. These are brushless. Both of these, the impact and the drill driver is brushless. You got the little belt loop there, which is always nice. You got your forward reverse right up here, just like just about every other drill. You got your variable trigger. You got your LED light on the front there. You got your adjustability for your clutch. Two speeds, one and two. The grip compared to say like my Ryobi or my Milwaukee feels a little bit more narrow. I actually like the grip. Impact pretty much the same thing. You got your variable trigger. You got your LED light on the front. Obviously forward reverse. You got your, your boat hook here. You got your half inch chuck on this side and then you got your quarter inch quick release on this side. So let's go ahead, um, do some tests on these. I got some scrap wood, got some random drill bits and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and try these out and we'll see how well they perform. All right guys, so for the first test, I got two two by fours here stacked on top of each other. Went ahead and put the Phillips bit inside the drill driver here. It's the Greenworks from their set. And I got a two and a half inch screw here. Just going to go ahead and drive this into the 2x4. I got this on 16 for the clutch. And then I got it on 1 for the speed. So go ahead and see how this does. Alright, so on 16, it's not, it didn't sink in there. I'm going to pop it up to 18, see if I can drive it in a little bit more. There we go. That's below the surface there. So 18 worked. We'll go ahead and next test. I got three and a half inch screw. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave this on 18 and we're gonna drive this one in and see how it does. That drove it in. Go ahead and do the same thing on this other side. This is the two and a half. So that's all the way in there.
I went ahead and backed this clutch off a little bit. Back it up between 16 and 18, which would be the 17. And we're gonna go ahead and try to do another three and a half inch screw on this other side. So I didn't drive it all the way down. This is on 17. Kick it back up to 18 where it was originally. See if I can get this to drive all the way down. Yep, so 18, put it below the surface there. All right, guys, so next thing we'll do is we'll test it out on drilling. I got a two by four here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a few holes in it. No problem at all. We'll go ahead and step it up to Three quarters inch spade bit here. Once again, no issues there. Went right through it. Go up to a one inch spade bit. I'm gonna turn this on to two, speed two. Go ahead and do this one. So, it took a little bit longer. This is an old spade bit also, but went all the way through, no problem. All right guys, so I got a Milwaukee one and a half inch hole saw on it now. Go ahead and try this out. Got it on speed two. Alright guys, so we ended up getting through that. Built up a little bit of heat, created some smoke. It's probably a, a pretty dull hole saw there, but time to break out the new set. Alright guys, so we got a new hole saw in here. 
This is a two inch. Alright guys, so with the new hole saw, I end up putting a little bit of grease on it too, some oil on it just to keep down the, the heat. Um, did alright on the 2 inch. Alright guys, so I got the impact here. We're going to go ahead and drive um, a few different size lag bolts into this doubled up 2x4 and we'll see how well it does. No problem with that one. We'll go ahead and jump up to a little bit longer one here. Alright, so drove that down there. So we'll go ahead and step up to some bigger lag bolts here. Three quarter, three and a half inch. And we'll see how it does. Alright, so I buried it in there. Came out the other side. It's not too bad. Still at two bars there. We'll go back to the smaller. This one's a two and a half inch lag. Go ahead and just shoot this through the single 2x4. Got a one and a half inch lag there. Go ahead and run this through this 2x4 also. Shouldn't be a problem. Yep, buried it. No issues with that. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and see if this impact will take the lug off of my uh, car here. Look at that. Not bad. Now these lugs were all hand tightened by me with a four way. So we'll go ahead and see if this can get some lugs off one of our other cars. All right, so I didn't think it would take these off. These were all put on by a garage with a pneumatic uh, impact. Um, so it wasn't strong enough for that, but like I said, the wheels on the Impala, on the Chevy that just took off, those were hand tightened with a four-way. 
was able to take it off with that. All right guys, so there you go. A little bit of testing, review on the Greenworks combo, drill driver and impact gun. Hope you guys found this video useful. I think this is a decent kit for that DIY or somebody doing projects around the house or fixing things. Definitely a brand to look into. These can be found on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put an affiliate link in the description box below. If you guys are interested in these or even this Greenworks circular saw over here, go ahead, use those links below. It uh, helps out the channel a lot. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys got any comments? Go ahead and throw them below. Any questions? I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys like what I'm doing on my channel? Hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.